Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Peace. <laughs> Today I'll be making matoke and ginuts. So these are our ginuts and I'll be making them in this box because I'll be putting them in the same saucepan with the matoke to save time and firewood. So we are just three people. I guess that will be enough. And I'll add water. I guess that water is also enough so I'll let it sit aside so that the ginat paste becomes <coughs> becomes a little more tender because right now it's still hard hard to mix so I'll let it sit as I peel box ginats are very tasty because they have a nice smell in them they are very good with matoke almost the same like luwombo the only difference is here we are, we are using a box a tin box and not banana leaves <laughs> so i'll start layering my saucepan with these things we get from the banana fibers So we make it like that. So after putting our water okay, we cover it like that. So since I'm going to put my ginat sauce here, I'll first leave it at that layer. So right now they are a little tender, not hard like before. Now we are done preparing our meal so I'll go ahead and put it on fire where I'll let it stay for three hours it's been three hours already and now it's time for smashing the bananas so let's go <laughs> When you're smashing the bananas, always put a saucepan or a dish of water at the sides because the banana leaves are so hot. So it's good to always dip your hands in the water, then you touch on the banana leaves to avoid burning yourself. Right now I'll go ahead and put the sauce on the sides, then I'll start smashing the bananas and put back the sauce when I'm done. So while smashing, you squeeze all the bananas together so that they form one solid block. Then after you collect it together, this helps when you're serving so that the food doesn't remain in the banana leaves. So after that, put back all the banana leaves and add some water if it's finished. This part is very crucial when you're making bananas because it's the part that, give, that makes it so soft and get that tender feeling that you want when you're eating bananas. So you have to make sure that after smashing, you put it back and let it simmer or steam for some time before serving it. And remember, the longer it stays, the better the matoke will taste. After that, you put it back on fire where you let it stay until the time when you're going to serve. But at this time, you don't put a lot of fire. You just, you just make it minimal so that the food just stays hot 
and soft. And then the most awaited time, serving. This is the time which everyone loves most. You get to eat what you cooked. So right there we're going to serve. And that's dinner. That's why you see it's a little dark. So you can see our sauce is ready and the aroma that is coming out of it is just something else. It's really really nice. Please kindly subscribe and leave me a comment. I'll be so glad to hear from you. And also try out this cooking. I guarantee you, you'll always want a recap of it. So every time I make this sauce, I always put some side dish. And this time I made cabbage, just normal fried cabbage with just oil and salt, nothing else. So you can see how soft our bananas are because they've been steaming for a long time. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.